So you want to know how to tune a microtonal guitar. One of the easiest ways is just to tune it to standard tuning squished into your microtonal tuning. So I have this, this guitar tuned to E, A, D, G, B, E. Just like a normal guitar, except where the notes are detuned from what we're used to, from total equal temperament, to fit this microtonal scale. So the microtonal tuning that I'm using on this guitar is 17 equal temperament. So it has 17 frets in the octave. So a normal guitar, you'd be able to walk up semitone by semitone, you would reach the octave, which is the second harmonic after 12 steps. But um, this guitar has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 steps per octave. Um, and so obviously, um, if we wanted to tune it, we could only have one note be the same as normal tuning. Because, you know, if you divide the octave up into 17 parts, none of those parts can be the same size as if we had divided it up into 12 equal parts. Um, None of them are going to quite line up. Um, and so, let's say we want to tune from E. I'll show you the easy way first, the way that doesn't require you to have to think in sense uh, or, or even use a tuner. You can just tune the guitar in tune with itself. Um, and that is um, thinking of how the E, A, D, G, B, E tuning is constructed. The, the trick with it is it's just an E minor pentatonic scale spread out by fourths. Um, so what I mean by that is E goes to A, which is a perfect fourth up, which goes to D, which is another perfect fourth up, which goes to G, which is another perfect fourth up, and then the B string is a perfect fourth down from the top E. So this is our top E. You can hear the outside E's are the same note, two octaves apart. And then we take our E and move it down a perfect fourth to get our B. Um, and so we can really simply just tune it based on what we know our perfect fourth to be equal to in our tuning. So start by taking E, make sure your outside E's are in tune and that they're two octaves apart. And you can hear that, that's out in tune. You know, if I brought it out of tune, Um, and we'll verify that in a moment. Um, and so we can take our E string, our low E string, uh, and take the perfect fourth of it in the tuning, which in 17 equal temperament happens to be seven steps. And you can just try to find the closest thing you can hear to a perfect fourth if you don't want to use any map. And then you tune the A string, the second string down, uh, to be the same as that perfect fourth. And then you do the same thing from the A. So A. It's falling a little bit out of, out of tune, but that's fine. Um, the A, we go up a perfect fourth to get our D. Uh, and so we make sure our D string is tuned the same. If we were to fret here on the A string, the perfect fourth up. And then we play the D string, we want to make sure that they're the same. the perfect fourth up from the D string, we want to be the same as the G string. So this is the, the um, D string open, and this is it fretted at the fourth, at the perfect fourth. tune down a fourth from the E. So we've got our E's tuned, so we just want to fret the B at the fourth, uh, the perfect fourth. And we want 
want that to be the same as um, the E. Because the perfect fourth up from B is E. And that's pretty close. And so we've successfully tuned it now. It's in tune with itself, at least. Um, and we can double check that, uh, that we've done everything correctly because um, in between the G and the B should be a major third. Uh, in 17 equal, the major third is quite wide. But we can fret the major third, or the closest thing that we have to a major third in 17 equal temperament, um, on the G string, and it should be equal to the B string. So it's not perfectly in tune, um, but I normally wouldn't tune it by ear anyway. Normally I would tune it using a tuner, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. Um, right, so... We know that we've tuned it by perfect fourths. What we can do is we can actually take a regular tuner, any tuner that allows you to adjust things by sense, um, and tune things more precisely than the way we've done it now. So, um, if we want to keep our E the same as normal tuning, we want to keep our E's the same as we would normally tune them, um, we know that we just take whatever our microtonal equivalent of the perfect fourth is, um, and uh, find th what that is in sense and then adjust our tuner accordingly. So um, if we divide the octave up into 1200 cents, which are these tiny little intervals you use to um, measure very small pitch distances when you're tuning, um, we can say, okay, so in 12 equal temperament, we divide the octave up into um, 12 equal pieces, which are each worth 100 cents. That is, um, the 1200 cents d divided by 12, because we're doing, working in 12 equal temperament, gives us 100 cents per step. And so if we know that five steps is a perfect fourth, then we know that a perfect fourth is 500 cents. Um, so that's the pitch distance in cents, which are, like I was saying, these tiny little intervals we use to tune. Um, and so our perfect fourth in 17 equal temperament is seven steps. And so we take 1200 cents divided by 17, which is our equal temperament that we're working in. Uh, and that will give us 17 and a half cents per step. And so each step is about 70% the size of um, a regular semitone we're used to. Um, but we take that 17 and a half uh, cents and we multiply it by seven because we've got seven of them to get to the perfect fourth uh, and that will give us about 494 cents um, so if normally I, I've put things slightly more out of tune I think by trying to tune it um, but uh, E, A if we take our A note um, we know that normally it would be 500 cents up, but now it's 494 cents up. Uh, and so we know that we can take a standard A and flatten it by 6 cents to get this note. And so on our tuner, we would simply adjust the note if, if your tuner allows you to use cents, which hopefully it does. Um, but you can get clip-on tuners, you can get tuning apps and all, all sorts of things. On the computer tuners, um, Reaper, the, the digital audio workstation, has a built-in tuner that allows you to um, tune by sense and things. Um, so you'll take A and you'll tune that to be the same as um, a 12 equal temperament A minus 6 cents. Uh, and then your D string, you'll just tune to um, an, a 12 equal temperament D minus 12 cents because it's an extra 6 cents down. And then your G string, you'll know that it's 18 cents down. Um, your B string, you know, because it's a perfect fourth down from E, it's actually six cents up from B. So you take a standard B, and you would add six cents and tune it to that note. And then E, we're choosing to keep the same. And so that would also give you a way of tuning your guitar more, more accurately using a, um, a, a, a tuner on whatever device it is that you're using. Um, a more accurate way of tuning the guitar than just doing it by ear. Um, and that's not going to work perfectly for all tunings. Some tunings won't have a good perfect fourth and you might want to tune the strings to something different, some other scale. Um, and so in that case, you can just stack whatever interval it is you're interested in using or, or you can use different intervals you're interested in using just by dividing the, the 1200 cent octave um, 
up into whatever whatever interval sizes it is that you're using. Or if you're not using an equal temperament, you can just tune the strings to whichever notes on the frets that you're interested in. Um, or, or you could take the number of cents uh, or, um, for each interval that you're interested in uh, and pick one and tune the guitar to that number of cents. Um, and, and you know, if you've got a tuner, then you can say, uh, I'll say in my tuning that um, some note I'm interested in tuning the string to is uh, 930 cents. You could just put in a regular tuner as whatever note is 900 cents up from whatever note you're interested in, um, and then add 30 cents. And, and so, um, you know, for example, I say I want to tune um, uh, my, my um, A string up a, a, a 5 on 4 major third. Um, I know that a 5 on 4 major third, as I've explained in previous videos, I can convert that to cents and get 386 cents. So I can tune this 386 cents up, um, which is 14 cents down from A. So I could just say A minus 14 cents. Um, but that's all, all quite technical. And um, if you're using an equal temperament on guitar, you can really comfortably stick to what I've said, um, and that'll get you pretty far. And then you can work with um, different tunings using a similar system just by working out what your intervals are um, in sense and then adjusting them accordingly. Um, so I think that pretty much covers uh, how um, you can tune a microtonal guitar, um, at, at least an equal temperament one like this. Um, so hopefully that helps. Uh, and let me know what questions you have, and I'll, I'll dive into more microtonal guitar stuff in future. Um, but yeah.